As with many illnesses, when it comes to neurodegenerative diseases, early diagnosis is key. Using relatively new technology, four Toronto sisters have signed up to test themselves for the Alzheimer's gene after their mother passed away from complications with dementia. The sisters are working with the Toronto Memory Program to track their genes and participate in clinical studies. With more on this, I'm joined by Dr. Cohen and one of the sisters, Tara Siam. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good to see you. Thanks for being nice here. You, so why did you want to do this cheek swab test to find out if you carried the gene? Well, there are nine of us in my family, five girls, four boys, and um, our mom. Oh, my goodness. It's okay. Our mom passed away. Yep. And we watched. We watched her, you know, and um, we, there were nine of us, so we could all be very supportive. Mm hmm of each other, but there was nothing we could do. And I thought, I don't want that for my kids. I don't want my kids to have to go through what we went through. What you and your siblings yeah. went through. Yeah, it's tough. It was very tough. As you can see, still tough. Absolutely. So do you know then if you carry the gene? Maybe Dr. K Dr. Cohen will talk about that. We do have, um, is that part of what you're going to be talking about? Well, I have. I have like. We did. Um, we did do the, the mm -hmm. swab, mm -hmm. and um, we carry some of the genes. There's a combination of four, and we have a combination of two of the four. And so we've decided we're going to go ahead and do something further and test further and test further. Mm -hmm. Dr. Cohen, why is this sort of research? And before we even get to the research, the early detection. Why do they go hand in hand? Why is it so important for people? Alzheimer's disease is a complicated disease and once it's full blown, it's really hard to turn the tide back. If we can detect people who are at risk, who have a risk factor gene, the ApoE gene, which we can detect so easily with a cheek swab, people have an opportunity to do something. Tara is well, Gaura is well, her sisters are well, and they've seen this bad disease in mom. And they say, hey, can we move the field forward? You know, we don't have Alzheimer's, we don't have dementia, but we're at risk. We know because of the gene result, we know because mom had the disease that we're at higher risk. We want to join a clinical trial. They're a remarkable family. Four Thank sisters you. who want to move the field forward in honor of mom, yeah. in honor of their kids, and for themselves. That's fantastic. Did it scare you to find out that you have two of the four? It did. The first reaction was, wow. But I wasn't uh, in denial. Mm. I was kind of like, okay. Well, let's see what we could do about this now. Mm -hmm. And I think my uh, other sisters are exactly the same, um, the ones who also have the genes. So. so, Dr. Cohen, for all the people that are watching and have somehow been touched by this and are wondering themselves if they have Alzheimer's or dementia, are there things that can be done early um, to prevent it from getting worse? And as Tara says, to prevent her family from going through the same pain that she has. Absolutely. We don't have a cure yet for Alzheimer's, but we will. And the way we'll get there is by people like Tara and her sisters coming forward, working with a clinic like Toronto Memory Program, trying different things for people who are healthy and at risk to see what works and what's in the pipeline. There is quite a lot. And not only are you a model family in terms of initiative, there are three different studies that three of the four sisters are going to participate in. One tackles a protein called tau, the other prevents amyloid from forming. The other study that one of the sisters will join is one that uh, removes amyloid before it becomes plaque, because we know just removing plaque isn't good enough. So the pipeline is rich, the sisters are eager, and I think other people should be encouraged that yes, we can define risk better. Don't wait and see if you're concerned or if you want to join us in this fight contact us. There's there's lots that can be done. You seem so young. Oh, to I'm not, even but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you but know, to I, even be I thinking think, about it. I think um, if I look back at it, our mom probably started showing signs in her early 70s. Early um, 70s. Yeah, Is early to mid 70s. Cohen, early 70s, early not. It can yeah. be even earlier. Yeah, and that's, I mean, when we think back, right? Yeah. And, uh, but but at the time, we didn't know it. We just thought mom's getting older and, you know, uh, needed a lot more care and a lot more of our attention and, and uh, more frustrating, you know, all of those things. And um, but looking back, we could, you know, you could kind of check the boxes to say, uh oh, that was 
probably a sign. That was probably a sign. And then when, so when uh, one of my sisters mentioned Dr. Uh, Cohen's um, uh, clinic coming into her apartment building to uh, to talk about it and then maybe do a cheat call, I thought, I'm in. Um, in if I could know, I want to know. Well, we're going to stay on top of this research. Dr. Cohen, always great to have you with us. We always want to know what the latest is. And to you and your sisters, you're so brave. Thank ah, you. We don't see it as courage. We just see it that's our good fortune to, oh, be, awesome. to have the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you both for coming Thank in you. today. All right. Appreciate Thank it. you. All the nice best. to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back with more news. You're watching CTV News Channel.